we've got an old part that came in. Coating's falling off. I can't tell if it's powder or liquid. I'm thinking it's liquid. But I was just going to show basically what's happening, what the failures are, why I think that it's happening, and what could have been done to prevent it. And then, of course, we're going to blast this and powder coat it. And it's going to come out looking really good. So here's the sign. And it was originally just looks like a brown color, probably a little bit more brown than it is right now. I assume that it has faded quite a bit. The main thing is is that the steel substrate underneath is starting to rust, as you can see. And so this is actual coating that's flaking off. Um, it doesn't look like that it was originally blasted to me, because otherwise you'd see some sort of a blast profile. And it's pretty smooth where it's not rusting. If we look at the back side of a paint chip, we can actually see that um, we're actually looking at metal when we flip it flip it over. So that's the paint. We look at the back side and it's metal. So that just means mill scales falling off of the part itself. And so again, that tells me that it wasn't blasted. Typically on any part, whether it's liquid coated or powder coated, whether we blast it or we don't blast it, edges are the areas where failure starts first. So you don't really see failure out here in the middle. This is actually still stuck on here pretty good. Maybe it's faded and it's not the original color but we don't have a lot of rust we don't have coating falling off on the edges is where you see a lot more issue generally because the coating just doesn't stick as well to the edges especially on a sign like this where you got a thick plate relatively thick plate it's about a quarter inch thick and typically this is plasma cut or laser cut and those edges usually won't take a coating well and liquid coating and powder coating just don't like to stick to these edges as well as they do a surface. Usually water will start to get in these areas and they, once they get underneath the coating then they start rusting it. In this case since it wasn't blasted you don't have any extra mechanical adhesion that's helping hold that coating on. So once you get water underneath then it starts rusting like what we see here and then it's going to start to kind of like bubble the coating and then it just starts falling off. Overall, I don't see very much uh, chalking on this sign. So, what I mean by chalking is that it would get kind of, it would get white hazy, and if you rubbed your hand across it, your fingers would be have like a white chalkiness to them. And that just happens because the coating itself is breaking down because of the UV light from the sun, and so then you would start to see some chalking. But you can see that. The color kind of is darker over here and then a little bit lighter out here in the middle. It's possible that this had a little bit more sunlight on it over time and so that's why it's a little bit lighter. Definitely can see discoloration around where um, water got underneath the coating and it started to rust the metal and then the coating started to flake off. It probably would have really helped for this to be blasted originally. I don't think that we'd be seeing it as bad around here. Not sure how old this sign is. But uh, if it was just pre-treated and powder coated, let's say, from brand new, I always tell customers probably within the first year you're going to start seeing some issues along the edges. Probably not this bad in a year. But you will start to see some issues happening. Kind of like up, up here, it's not terrible yet, but you can see coating is starting to peel away. This is starting to get loose up here. Like right there. Down now that one's chipped off. So usually you'll start it to see at the edge first, then it just works its way in. Over here, here's a good um, visual. So that starting to come off of that edge right there. We flip it over. Um, that, you don't really see much metal there. So that, that the coating itself is just coming right off. Not really much mill scale on the back side of that piece. But again, it's one of those laser cut, plasma cut edges. Coating just does not like to stick to those. I think it's because of how hard this surface is and the chemical reaction that happens um, when that cutting action happens with the gases that are involved in trying to actually make the cutouts. We're going to blast it all, so we're going to get all the old coating off, we're going to get all the rust off. These areas that you see where it's, it's a little bit extra rusty, a little darker, more than likely we're going to see some pitting in those areas. We've got a spot on this tube over here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's really, really rusty. 
that was probably closer closer to the ground. The sign was not very far off the ground. Um, so this was probably exposed to water a little bit more. And so you're gonna, we're gonna see a lot of pitting there. Nothing we can really do about that. We've gotta blast it to get rid of all the rust. And once we do that, then we're gonna have some pitting in the metal because once the rust is cleaned off, the rust basically is eating away the metal. The metal's corroding. So we're gonna end up seeing it pitted. We're actually going to be using a textured powder coating that looks very similar to this color. The name of the color is Rust, but it's designed to be a fine texture, so it should help cover up some of that pitting and make, it, make the sign look pretty consistent all the way across. And then since it's going to be blasted and then powder coated, I always tell customers that three to five years, you really shouldn't have any issues with it. But then after about three years, you might start seeing some fading. You might see a little bit of chalking.